clinical research has led to medical advances benefiting everyone, even newborn babies. Though clinical research projects are as different as the conditions they study, they have one very important thing in common, participants. Uncovering ways to understand, diagnose, prevent, and treat diseases relies on volunteers willing to participate in studies. Clinical research happens in different places, at home, the doctor's office, a research lab or hospital, and even online. Since 1994, the National Longitudinal Study of Adolescent to Adult Health, or Ad Health, has been gathering survey data from more than 20,000 teenagers. It's helping us understand how behaviors early in life affect health outcomes later in life, all just by having teens answer a few questions from time to time. No matter the format, research cannot happen without people willing to offer their time to help advance understanding of health and disease. Because taking part in clinical research is a personal choice, having all the facts is important. For example, the length of research varies. Some studies are very short, while others may require repeated surveys or visits. Even if you volunteer to participate in online research, you won't be alone. Doctors, scientists, local study coordinators, nurses, lab staff, translators, counselors, and technicians will all be on your side, working with you. Many people think that you can only take part in research if you have a disease or condition. Not always. Clinical research projects do need patient volunteers or people with the disease or condition being studied. But they also need healthy volunteers, people who don't have a certain disease or condition, to make sure advances are both safe and effective for everyone. So thank you for thinking about taking part in clinical research and consider yourself invited to help make the world a healthier place. To learn more or find out how to volunteer for clinical research, visit our website, www.nichd.nih.gov slash clinical research.